Hey guys, welcome to this video. So, um, the introduction is going to be really short. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. So, I am going to a horse show tomorrow, and I'm not going to show my horse, but I'm going to actually, um, be the, um, sorry, the ribbon passer outer. Um, so I'm going to go up to the riders and horses, and I'm going to be like, oh, nice job, here's your ribbon, you got blank place. And yeah, so I'm just going to do a little tutorial on makeup, hair, and clothes that you should do and wear for your show if you're not going to be too noticeable. And if you want to be like, a, wear a lot of makeup, I don't suggest watching my makeup tutorial because it's going to be in the same video. So like in the middle, like don't even watch it, I guess. But yeah, so I'm going to start it with a shirt. Um... So the shirt is not a show shirt. Um, show shirts usually have like diamonds and stuff on them and they're really special. But as you can see it just has pockets and they're regular pockets and yeah so um, I think the shirt is really cute because it's my favorite color green and it has blue and white on it. Um, but yeah it's nothing special um, but the jeans are a little pretty. They're a little fancy. So they, they're LA Idol, and this pocket's a little folded, but <laughs> they just have a little, like, fake diamonds on them and stuff like that, but, um, oh yeah, one thing with this shirt, do not wear anything under it, because honestly, it gets really hot, and I was debating whether to wear shorts or, um, je or <laughs> um jeans, because it's gonna be really hot tomorrow, um, but... I'm going to wear jeans because I'm going to be with horses and stuff. So now my makeup tutorial. So if you guys don't want to wear, like, a bunch of, like, non-noticeable makeup, then why don't you just not watch? So I'll give you a second. One. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this um, Rebel on Nearly Naked stuff that I've talked about in my previous videos. Um, and I'm just going to dot it on my edges of my nose and my eyes. <laughs> So, and then I'm just going to rub it in. I know, I forgot this. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's basically what it looks like. It's nothing special, believe me. Um, but yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some, um, Maybelline New York 30 Seashore Frost. Um, if I haven't talked about this in my previous videos, which I think I have, but I'm going to go ahead and say what I said in the other video, I think, if it uploaded. Um, this is a really good, um, Maybelline, um, eyeshadow. Um, but it has different, like, um, things where you should put it, so this is like a basic, like, eye, like, eyeshadow tutorial, but, um, this purple right here is for the crease, this is for the lid, this is for the brow bone, and I've used this green so much that I can't even read it anymore, and I don't remember. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this brow bone color, and as you can see, it's just a really light purple, like, uh, it's not bright or anything. But if your eyes are, like, blue or brown... I think it kind of like gives you like a little like accent to your eyes and it makes them brighter. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, James the lights. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to take this blue and literally I'm going to take the lightest bit of it. Like it's only covering half of my brush. And I'm just going to like it, make it on there so that it's not heavily on it. And if you're using like non neutral and natural colors like um like blue and purple and stuff, um, try not to make sure that it gets um, by your tear duct and by the corners of your eyes because then it gets kind of noticeable and then you're like, oh, hey, you have something on your eye. And you're like, I know, I know. So, I've talked about this. It's a, it's a mirror. So, um, I've talked about this before, but it's this CoverGirl Lash Bash Fusion. And I honestly love this um, because 
it's nothing special. Like, it's not like, it doesn't have, like, any, like, special, like, clump for, like, it's clump free, but it's really easy to just slap on. I should be doing this over here. And if you're like me, I have really thin eyebrows. I know it's kind of hard, or not eyebrows, eyelashes, but I know it's really kind of hard. Oops. Hard to see that I have really thin eyebrows, or oh my gosh, eyelashes. But um, I like using a lot of heavy mascara. And I just got them on my eyeball. That's how good I am at makeup. So then just do some, like literally dab this. On your lower lashes. And yeah. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, that's all really I do, and I take, let's see, what do you, so, I take this, it's by LA Colors, it doesn't have a color, that's awesome, but it's this color. And it honestly smells really good. Like, it's pink, but it's not, like, a huge girly pink. It's actually pretty pink. So. <laughs> and you need, honestly need to put the slightest bit of this on. Because it's, it's, it actually makes it really visible. And then just take, like, some clear lip gloss. I mean, it can not just be clear. It can have some sparkles in it. That's what this is. And <sighs> it just makes your lips shinier. So, yeah. Um, that's basically it for makeup. You don't need to really do anything really special for it. Um, but yeah. So now I'm going to get on with hair. So the first thing that I'm going to use is just a Con Air comb. It comes in a set with like a brush and like a couple clips and a couple of the ponytails and stuff. But it's just a comb and it has a fat side. I say a fat side and a skinny side. I'm oh, sorry. I like doing this with combs. And then it's um it's called it's a 10 miracle leave-in um it's like condi it's like leave-in shampoo only it's conditioner but it's basically like detangler and I'm I haven't brushed my hair like literally all day so it has some knots in it and I'm just gonna show you how well this looks because I'm just gonna do my part really quick because it's messed up ow. Okay, I'm not going to rip out my hair. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally grab my hair in a ponytail and just squirt it. Like, it feels sort of dry when you put it on your hair. And it's supposed to feel like that. And then see, it's like magic. Like, like seriously. Like, I have no knots anymore. And like, and if you do find a knot, right on there and it's gone voila how cool is that so um this is also if you're showing actual horse um since if you're showing english or western you might want to do this um it's more proper for if you're showing english to put your hair in a low bun but um if you're showing western i do personally prefer western but i do jump um and i do just english um, but I'm going to do Western, um, for tomorrow's show, and so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush my hair back behind my ears, because it's a really low ponytail, like, you don't want to, like, mess up your part and put it all up in a high ponytail that sticks out like this, and then, because it's going to be too high for 
if you're wearing a hat or a helmet, but yeah, it just has to be a really low ponytail, and I will show you guys, because it's really hard to show you guys, uh oh. So, I'm just going to do a little ponytail, as I said. So, it's just a really low ponytail, and, so, yeah. Wait, could you guys see that? Sorry, I can't see, so I'm like, okay, see, so it's like a, like, purple-ish ponytail. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, also what I forgot to do. Um, so some people like using blush. I honestly do not have blush or bronzer. Like, I do not own brush or bronzer. So what I'm going to do, this is the e.l.f. blush brush. And what I do is I just have this really pretty L.A. colors, like, basically pink. And what I do is I just, like, run my brush, like, literally all over this, like, it's blush. And just, like, mix it all together. So then the color sort of looks like that. I just literally like put it all over your cheeks. So as you can see this it's not really light. But what you can do and yeah, this is just a super easy way if you guys don't have any blush or anything like that. So, it just adds a little bit of color, but, um, I'm probably not going to wear my hair in a ponytail, but this is what you would regularly do, um, but you can put it in a bun, I guess, I'll sh guys show you a bun. Warning, I do not do buns very well, so what I have learned to do for just, like, a bun, because I honestly cannot do my own hair, I cannot braid my own hair, <laughs> so what I do is I just twist it up, and then I put my finger right, right here. And I just <laughs> twist it around, and then I grab it. Oh, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> like, oh, okay, one more. Woo. Okay, I, I cannot see this bun, but as you guys can see, it's just like a floppy little bun thing. <sighs> I can't even see it. Mm. Wait, I have a mirror. Okay, wait. So, what if I did, like, okay, like a, like a mirror type thing. I turn it off, and then just go, like, okay. Okay, I do not know how to do this. So, like. Oh, no. Ooh, that's pretty. Sort of. It's bad, but it's kind of cute. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, the show shirt and these pants are what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Um, even if you guys don't like my hair, um, just like this video if you guys do like it. Um, once again, my Ariana Grande fan skit part 2 is probably coming soon. So I hope you guys are excited excited for that um yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe down below and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye